Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. Today is Monday the 3rd of July 2023. It's a full moon and this is your card of the day. So we are working with the um, Fairy Tarot Cards This Week by Radley Valentine, images by Howard David Johnson. I placed my uh, crystal up there, uh, gave it a little tap today to bring some extra oomph since this is the full moon. Um, and our card of the week that we pulled is the Sun card. And I just have one word really to, to um, sum up the Sun card, and that would be vibrancy. Everything in your life this week should have an emphasis of the sun's energy, the sun's rays, vibrancy, vitality, success, seeds of success. Think about sunflowers, the color of yellow, the color of happy, the color of just uh, vibrant health, vibrant everything, friendships, all of those things. Um, you know, uh, the 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 uh, clues on the bottom of this is happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success above all confidence. So let's see what the card of the day is. It goes with this one. Fairies of all realms and all four corners, I welcome you to the space. Spirit guides, angels, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. For bringing me a clear message, I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear and to know these sacred words of spirit and to deliver a message in such a way as to enlighten, to inspire and to heal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. The Prince of Winter. Huh. So the energy from the Prince of Winter is fun and playful, I think, but also with some intelligence. You know, winter suit in this particular deck is very similar to swords. Um, it's about being focused at the same time. There's a tendency to be a little bit impulsive, which is where the focus needs to come from. Here we see our, look at this, so delightful, um, playful little mouse, if you will, being ridden by an equally playful Prince of Winter, just running through the snow, having absolutely no worries whatsoever. Sun is gleaming down and it's a lot of fun. So... The other emphasis about this is there's opportunities coming up, particularly since we're in this full moon energy. The sun's energy, the influence it says opportunities will be presented in a bright way that can be so clear that perhaps only you get the message. And this is also a time to act quickly also be decisive so when it comes to these things popping up these opportunities these golden uh moments when they come up in my life i ask three questions what does my higher self want me to know about this how does my higher self feel about this um and what does my higher self think about this so there's a difference between what do i need to know about this and what do i think about this because when you get a thought that pops up out of a situation it's coming from two places response or reaction now when we think of that word reaction, we feel like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my gracious, oh my, that's what we're used to. But the reaction could also be one of joy, the underlying joy, the underlying, wow, this is unbelievable, amazing. This is what the sun's energy does to it. 
it turns something that some people might see as, oh my goodness, now what? Other people might say, oh my goodness, now what do I do? Um, it's a, I don't think it's going to be a challenging day because, you know, this month of July with the moon being in cancer, uh, I don't think there's any major dramas going on um, to speak of. Maybe at the beginning of the month, we might have a few bits and pieces that pop up, but nothing that is going to upset the apple cart and have us running for the hills and riding you know, letters at midnight, crazy stuff like that. Um, I'd say that the Prince of Winter is definitely one that is, can be kind of impulsive, but it's okay to be impulsive, providing it leads to something good. Um, how can I say that without causing people to say, well, is an impulse sometimes something we should pay attention to? Not necessarily, if it leads to the higher good of all, I think. Um, let's see. The Prince of Winter is kind of an energy that that, that is, again, determined. Um, strongly believing in what we're doing. And it can also lead to a bit of fighting for justice. Uh, standing in your corner. Um, and I'd say that, um, for today at least... If you've battled with something personal where you uh, needed to make an adjustment in your life or you needed to make an adjustment in the way your habits, your behaviors, the kind of things you were doing, perhaps you're having some epiphanies today like, oh, gracious, I just learned this lesson or I, I just understood this. The tendency truly sometimes is to judge, misjudge or Look at something that we learned from, like the mistake, the, the, the thing that happened. We call it, I call it, the thing that happened that caused me to get here. It's time to have gratitude for the things that happened that caused us to get here. Because we've learned, we've learned, we've downloaded this information, we've got this information. If you're a spiritual person, you know what that means. Well, everyone's a spiritual person, so you'll get it. The Prince of Winter is idealistic determined um so today since he's entering our arena take a pause do a tiny bit of reflection make sure that whatever plans you've got coming up for the second part of this year are really sound because this energy moves really quickly to to bring things into action um you know, I am a big believer in the law of attraction, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks. I'm a big believer in aligning your vibration with what it is you want. When I say aligning your vibration, sometimes we don't align our vibrations quite enough, meaning... We know what we want. We've got this goal in mind. We've got this idea in mind. There's got to be a feeling that comes with it. And when this Prince of Winter shows up along with the sun, it's a reminder that you are focusing on what you're focusing on and you're actually aligning up your vibration with it. So think about that really strongly. Is this truly what you want? Because this card today and this energy and this full moon and this sun card is saying you've got what it takes. Now, here's a little bit of a nugget for you. The fae people, the fairies, if they're worthy or if you're worthy of their time and their energy, they can move things quickly. So for me personally, when this Prince of, Win Prince of Winter comes up, if I'm aligning myself up with, what would I say I would want? I'll use this as a, I don't know, crazy thing. Um, redoing my, my personal space in my house, which is what I'm doing. I'm aligning up with that, lifting that vibrational energy. And by lifting that vibrational energy, this Prince of Winter is focused and determined to say, whoosh, we're going to make this happen for you. So be clear about what it is you're aligning yourself up with. What vibration are you lining yourself up with? If it's a vibration that isn't for your highest good, 
you're still lining yourself up with it, if that makes sense. So many times we line ourselves up with this is what we want. And the ratchet side of that is sometimes we can resent people that have already got it. A little bit. I'm not saying you're one of these people, but that then becomes the energy you're lining up with. So if you look at it like, um, I want what they've got, look at the, 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 that little bit of envy. Mm. The Prince of Winter is saying, okay, you want more envy? Well, whoosh envy into your, your, your place of space, if that makes sense. So you get more envy. <laughs> you, get, you see more people having what you want, you really want, instead of you lining up with this idea that you can feel it. You know what it feels like. You know what it is like to put your hands on the steering wheel of that new car, to put the key in the lock to that new home, to see an unexpected check come in the mail that is going to pay off four bills. That's the kind of stuff when you're aligning up with, when you're aligning yourself up with. Now, the other part about law of attraction that I'm learning or have learned, you have to do it in steps. You know, you could say you want this big, huge thing, and I'll use a lottery jackpot. Well, you've had the jackpot over and over and over again. It might have been $3, $5, $50, $60. Pay, maybe it's been a long time, if ever, you've got 100 But when were you grateful for the 3 the 5 the 7 the 6 It's a bit like those are the steps. Uh, you get green lights all the way to work. Uh, you're on the highway, no traffic, no accidents. Um, you arrive on time without any problems. Uh, all of these things. Those are the alignments with things that happen quickly. Not the big obvious, oh my goodness, look at me what I got. It's all the, the little things that pop in. So think of today as being focused, things happening quickly, but make sure you're lining up with your highest good. The next level is who else benefits from this? If you're buying something, are you using small businesses? Are you going to somebody who worked hard for whatever you're purchasing? And are you letting them know that you appreciate the work that went into what you're purchasing? These kind of things. All right, enough. I'll get off my soapbox. I'm hearing them. <laughs> uh, until tomorrow, have a great day. I love you. Bye.